In this video we're going to prove De Morgan's laws for sets. So recall if a and b are sets then the union of a and b is the set of all x so that x is an element of a or x is an element of b. Notice that if x is not an element of the union of a and b then the phrase x is an element of a or x is an element of b is false. In other words the negation of x is in a or x is in b is true. Now, by De Morgan's laws for logic, the negation of that statement is logically equivalent to x is not in A and x is not in B. That is, if x is not in the union of A and B, then x is not in A and x is not in B. We'll be using that later in our proof. In fact, we have x is not in A if and only if x is not in, x is not in A union B if and only if x is not in A and x is not in B. Okay. So let's remember that for later because we're going to use it in our proof, as I said earlier. Now if A and B are sets, the intersection of A and B is the set of all x so that x is in A and x is in B. Notice that if x is not in the intersection of A and B, then the statement x is in A and x is in B is false. So the negation of that statement is true. And again, by De Morgan's laws for logic, the negation of x is in A and x is in B is logically equivalent to x is not in A or x is not in B. Okay, so we conclude that if it's not in the intersection of A and B, it's not in A or it's not in B. It's There's one of them it's not in. And in fact, we have that x is not in A intersect B if and only if x is not in A or x is not in B. Okay, so let's remember that too for later in our proof. Um, one more definition here, if a and b are sets, then a minus b is the set of all x so that x is an element of a and x is not an element of b. Okay, so that's called sometimes the complement of b and a, or a minus b. So here's De Morgan's Laws, this is the theorem we want to prove. If a, b, and c are sets, then we want to prove first that a minus b intersects c is a minus b union a minus c and secondly a minus b union c is a minus b intersected with a minus c so first we'll prove that a minus b intersected with c is equal to a minus b union with a minus c to prove that we have to show that a minus b intersected with c is a subset of a minus b union a minus c and we have to show that a minus b intersected with c is a superset of a minus b union a minus c. That is, we have to show a minus b union a minus c is a subset of a minus b intersect c. Okay? So whenever you want to show a set equality, you have to show that the subset relation holds in both directions like that. Okay? So let's first show that a minus b intersected with c is a subset of a minus b union with a minus c. To show that, we have to show that if x is an element of a minus b intersects c, then x is an element of a minus b union a minus c. So to get started, let's suppose that x is an element of a minus b intersected with c. That means that x is an element of a, and x is not an element of b intersects c. Okay, and now we're going to use something that I asked you to remember from earlier. Since x is not in b intersected with c, we know that x is not in b or it's not in c. That gives us two cases to consider. Okay, so case one, suppose that x is not in b. We know it's in a, so then we have that it's in a and it's not in b. But that exactly means it's in a minus b. Thus, x is in a minus b union a minus c. If it's in a minus b, it's got to be in the union of a minus b and a minus c. On the other hand, if it's not in c, if x is not in c, again, we know it's in a, so it's in a and not in c, and so that means it's in a minus c. And so again, it's in the union of a minus b and a minus c. So that exactly shows that if x is in a minus b intersects c, then it's in a minus b union a minus c and therefore a minus b intersect c is a subset of a minus b union a minus c. 
So now we're going to show that A minus B union A minus C is a subset of A minus B intersected with C. And to show that, we have to show that if X is an element of A minus B union A minus C, then X is an element of A minus B intersected with C. So to get started, let's suppose that X is an element of A minus B union A minus C. So that means X is in A minus B or it's in A minus C. As usual, that gives us two cases to consider. Let's suppose it's in A minus B. So X is in A minus B. That means it's in A and it's not in B. Now since it's not in B, we know from earlier that means it's not in B intersect C. Okay. To be in B intersect C, you've got to be in both B and C, but we know it's not in B, so it can't be in B intersect C. And it's in A, so that means it's in A, so it's in A and not in B intersect C. And that's exactly the definition of being a member of A minus B intersect C. What about if it's in A minus C? So maybe X is in A minus C. So then it's in A but not in C. And since it's not in C, it follows it's not in B intersect C again. So that means, again, X is in A but not in B intersect C. So X is in A minus B intersect C. So we proved that if X is in A minus B union A minus C, then X has to be in A minus B intersect C. Therefore, A minus B union A minus C set on the right is a subset of the set on the left, A minus B intersect C. So we prove both A minus B intersect C is a subset of A minus B union A minus C, and we've proved that A minus B union A minus C is a subset of A minus B intersect C. Since both of those are true, it follows that A minus B intersect C is equal to A minus B union A minus C. So that proves the first part of De Morgan's laws, the first statement of the two. So now we're going to prove that A minus B union C is equal to A minus B intersected with A minus C. To prove this, we have to show that the subset relation holds in both directions. So we have to show that A minus B union C is a subset of A minus B intersected with A minus C. And we have to show that A minus B union C is a superset of A minus B intersected with A minus C. That is, we have to show that A minus B intersected with A minus C is a subset of A minus B union C. Okay, so as before, if we're going to show that A minus B union C is a subset of A minus B union A minus C, we have to show that if X is an element of A minus B union C, then X is an element of that intersection, that it's an element of A minus B intersected with A minus C. So let's assume that X is an element of A minus B union C. Then X is an element of A, and it's not an element of B union C. All right. Now, earlier we talked about what it means to not be an element of a union. Since it's, X is not an element of the union, that means it's not an element of either of the sets, B or C. So it's not an element of B, and it's not an element of C. So on the one hand, we have that X is in A and X is not in B, so X is in A minus B. On the other hand, we also have that X is in A and X is not in C, so it's in A minus C. Okay, so that means it's in A minus B and A minus C, and therefore X is in the intersection of A minus B and A minus C. So we've shown that if X is in A minus B union C, then X is in A minus B, intersected with A minus C. It follows that A minus B union C is a subset of A minus B intersected with A minus C. Okay, so now we're going to prove that A minus B intersected with A minus C is a subset of A minus B union C. So to show that we have to prove that if X is an element of A minus B intersected with A minus C, then X is an element of A minus B union C. Let's assume that X is an element of A minus B intersected with A minus C. And that means that X is an element of A minus B and an element of A minus C. Since X is an element of A minus B, we know that X is in A and X is not in B. 
Since it's in A minus C, we know that X is in A and not in C. So that means X is in A, and it's not in B, and it's not in C. Now if it's not in B and it's not in C, that means it's not in the union of B and C, Okay, given our earlier discussion at the beginning of the video. Since it's in A and it's not in B union C, it follows that it's in A minus B union C. That's the definition of being in A minus B union C. So we've proved that if it, X is an element of A minus B intersected with A minus C, then X is an element of A minus B union C. All right. So it follows that A minus B intersected with A minus C is a subset of A minus B union C. So we prove both directions. We prove both A minus B union C is a subset of A minus B intersected with A minus C. And we've proved that A minus B intersected with A minus C is a subset of A minus B union C. So it follows that A minus B union C is equal to A minus B intersected with A minus C. That proves De Morgan's laws. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching.